Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today we're going to do an experiment to see if we can keep house sparrows away from these two bird feeders uh, right outside this window. And house sparrows are non-native species that a lot of bird feeders don't necessarily really want in their yard. They're aggressive, they can kill baby birds of other species. Some people love them, some people don't, but if you don't want them to come to your bird feeder, we're going to try this out see if it works. So I have two feeders out there that they really love, and I read that if you put strands of fishing line that just kind of dangle down from your feeder that they don't like that. So I was really curious about this and we're just gonna kind of haphazardly attach some strands out there. Now there's a lot of seed on the ground so the sparrows can still feed there and uh, that's okay but I just want to test this out and see if it works. Here's feeder number one I'm thinking maybe just tie them up here. It's not gonna be very like scientific we're just gonna kind of put them on and see. I feel like I gave it like strands of hair <laughs> coming off from the side or something. We'll see if they deter house sparrows, but also we'll see if they prevent other birds like chickadees from coming. It might just kind of freak everybody out. I don't know, we'll see. And then this is the other one I want to do. This one might be a little bit easier and I think we'll probably put four on here. If this does work, you definitely want to do this in a more reinforced way. You'd want to measure them out, have like a system to keep it, keep it up. From what I've read, this apparently allegedly works because house sparrows have bad eyesight. And so I'm assuming that means they think this is like stuff they can't pass through, where maybe the other birds kind of know and have better eyesight and they know they can just pass by it. All right, my strands are kind of everywhere, but I think that should work for now. Here's the line I'm using. It's a uh, Omniflex eight pound line. It's just kind of some line I had laying around. So let's see what happens. This one kind of wants to go to the right. It's probably going to blow in the wind quite a bit. This one has Oh, there's already a chickadee on there. This one's got a little more. This one's got four on it. So I just had a chickadee come to this feeder and the red feeder, so clearly he doesn't care about it. We'll see if it keeps the house sparrows away though. And now we wait. Oh no. Well, our red feeder just got a ton of house sparrows on it. The strands blew over to the side, and so I don't think they're really doing their job. One even perched on the place where the strands are tied to, so clearly if they're not in front of the feeder, it's not going to work. So we'll see if our other one, where they're kind of more evenly distributed, gets house sparrows too. Oh, we got our chickadees, so that's cool. I don't know how well you can tell, but we have house sparrows on the ground. But not at this close feeder yet. There are house sparrows on the ground and they have come to the red feeder, but not the closer feeder and the chickadees have no problem feeding with the strands there. So we're going to keep watching. Let's see if the house sparrows ever visit that feeder and if any other species will visit too. Chickadees also back. The chickadees and several other native species had no problem getting past the fishing line. Just had a white-breasted nuthatch come to the close feeder, so can confirm in this yard the line does not deter white-breasted nuthatches or chickadees. I also had several observations of house sparrows going to the feeders and seemingly being deterred by the lines. What's she doing? She's plotting. When the fishing line blows in front of that red bird feeder, the house birds look like they want to land, but then they go away from it. So it seems like if the strand, you can keep the strands in front, you could weight them down with something, you tie pine cones or something on there. If you can weight them down and get them to stay there, it seems like they actually are deterred. So that's really cool. It seems like this is actually working. It's been about an hour and no house sparrows ever came to the feeder that was closest to the house. We did have the chickadees. We had a white-breasted nuthatch a morning dove, and a blue jay. So all the native species we wanted still came to the feeder, but the house sparrows never did. And we actually didn't have uh, any starlings, uh, no grackles or cowbirds came to it either, but I don't know if that was because of the line or not. 
So if you do decide to try this out, let us know how it works for you. Make sure that you are keeping those lines short enough where they're not gonna get uh, any bird tangled up or anything like that. Make sure they're secured well. You can also try hanging them with something heavier at the bottom so they hang more straight. It does seem like if they're near the front of the feeder, it's gonna deter the house sparrows, but if they're kind of to the side, then it maybe won't. So just be responsible with it. You know, we don't want birds getting tangled in this. We don't want it coming undone, getting out into the environment. Um, but let me know what you think about this idea or if you have any other way to deter house sparrows. Uh, they are non-native in the U.S. They are native in Europe, though. So, you know, if you're over in Europe, you're probably trying to deter different things. But let me know what you think. This is a lot of fun, and we'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.